welcome to my video about getting yourself mortgage ready by having a look at your credit report about six months before you're looking to get a mortgage. You can use three main providers to have a look at your credit report, which are Experian, Equifax and TransUnion. There is another one called Check My File, which will look at all three main credit providers together. When you have your credit report, you need to have a look at it and just check everything looks okay. Here's my tips for having a look that everything looks okay. First of all, check your name. Check that it is your current name and that it is spelt correctly. Check your date of birth and check your current address. Check that the current address is spelt correctly. For example, if you live in Hillside Road and Hillside is as one word, check that it is as one word on your credit file. As if it was hill and side separately, this may affect how lenders will see you. Check that your previous addresses are correct and check any linked addresses are known by you. Linked addresses are addresses where you may have lived and applied for credit. For example, if you lived at home and you set up a current account at your parents' address, then that would be under the linked addresses. Check aliases. Aliases would be if you say have been married and changed your name or you've changed your name um, by deed poll, any aliases where you've applied for credit in that name will be shown here. Financial associates are people that you have applied for credit with. For example, if you set up a joint current account with your partner, then they would be under your financial associates. So check any of those. Check that you are registered on the electoral register, your current address. If you're not, it's very easy to do. All you do is go onto your local council's website and you can usually register yourself online. Or if not, you can make a call. Check your credit agreements. So with the credit agreements, there'll be a table like this. So you'll have the type of agreement it is, for example, credit card, and then the name of the credit card or the supplier. You'll have the account number and the address on the agreement. With the address on the agreement, check that it is in your current address and not in a previous address. If it's in a previous address, then you will need to change that and make that in your current address if that credit agreement is still open with that supplier, because each month they'll be updating your credit report and they'll hold the real address details about you. So it's not um, favored by lenders if you don't have your addresses up to date on the um, agreements that are open. So also things like what your credit limit is, which start balance was, current balance, and your last payments. There'll then be a table underneath, which is your payments. So if you've got all zeros, that's good because that means you are no payments in arrears. If yours are zeros and then you do have some numbers in there, that does mean that you've gone into arrears at some point. So this would mean that's no payments in arrears. That would be one payment in arrears. This one again would mean you're still one payment in arrears because you have paid one instalment but not enough to clear the arrears. And then this two would mean that you've paid, you've not paid the instalment to clear the arrears and you haven't paid that month as well. So you've gone two months into arrears. And then back to zero would mean that you've cleared any instalments due to clear arrears and any new payments due. So you've cleared everything off, you've gone back to normal. So if that has uh, happened, obviously just um, be, um, you know, have your explanation ready to why this has happened because um, we will need to explain it to the mortgage lenders. Um, but if this is incorrect, then you need to contact the creditor who's made this record and um, just find out why they've done that and get them to correct it. Court and other public records, this will be where it would show if you do have any county court judgments, it will show the amount that you have for the county court judgment and who that was with. Um, so just check those details there. And notice of correction, this would be a record made of the court, um, which would may explain why you may have gone into um, some bad credit. For example, if a relationship broke down, so sometimes they would make a notice of correction for any uh, future um, finances to have a look at when they're thinking of offering you credit. 
Then next you've got searches. So searches, you've got soft searches, which would be searches such as looking at your credit file, that would make a soft search, uh, soft footprint, as you might have heard it called. Or you've got the hard searches. Hard searches would be for things like credit cards and loans. Um, so too many hard searches will bring down your um, credit worthiness. Um, it also means that you looked at as a higher risk, um, so you wouldn't be offered maybe such good rates um, as you may if you haven't had hard searches. So it's if you don't need to have things like credit cards and loans, it's not a really good idea just to apply for them for the sake of it, especially if you're coming up to um, getting a mortgage because you want to make sure that you are mortgage ready and you're going to be subject to the best rates. Um, but if you do have a look at your credit report, if you're trying to get yourself mortgage ready, having a look at your credit report, you really don't understand it. Um, you just want to have a chat because you do have some marks on there um, that you know you're, you're worried. Um, just give me a call on the details below uh, and I can have a look at it for you. 